Warren Buffett predicts horrible inflation coming. Warren Buffett, a wealthy investor, has expressed concern about inflation in the United States as the economy recovers. Red hot from the worst coronavirus outbreak. Due to raw material shortages and strong savings among individuals who maintain their jobs but were banned from spending on items like holidays, Buffett said his portfolio businesses were seeing very large inflation in various areas. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss Warren Buffett predicts horrible inflation coming. So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. Buffett and his trusted lieutenant, Charlie Munger, held a wide-ranging conversation in which they criticized several aspects of the financial markets, including the recent rise of Bitcoin, so-called SPAC investment vehicles, and the share trading app Robinhood, among others. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Buffett has accumulated a fortune of $104 billion, making him the wealthiest investor in the world. His investment firm, Berkshire Hathaway, has holdings in several industries and companies, from technology giant Apple to railroads, battery manufacturer Duracell, and ice cream fast food chain Dairy Queen. The 90-year-old participated in the company's second online shareholder meeting on Saturday night from Los Angeles, owing to the epidemic. In the Nebraska city where he currently resides, he is sometimes referred to as the Oracle of Omaha. So it's no surprise that the gathering draws a large crowd of investors and admirers looking to pick his brain. Economics worldwide are keeping a watchful eye out for signals of an overheated U.S. economy so that they will give Buffett's words on inflation serious thought. Although widespread coronavirus lockdowns in 2020 caused severe economic downturns, massive monetary stimulus measures, and the loosening of restrictions are predicted to revive global economies quickly. After pushing through a massive $1.9 billion in fiscal stimulus, Joe Biden is Buffett's candidate of choice for president in 2020, as disclosed by Buffett. Asset values may be negatively affected in the Federal Reserve the U.S. Central Bank decides to raise interest rates in response to rising inflation. Buffett has spoken out against the Robinhood share trading app, which charges no fees, arguing that it encourages younger investors to treat their money in the stock market like casino chips. At the beginning of the year, Robinhood was at the center of a share trading fever, as ordinary investors flocked to meme stocks like video game company GameStop. Both he and Munger have criticized the proliferation of blank check organizations that generate capital to acquire privately held businesses, known as special purpose acquisitions from firms or SPACs. Since their meteoric rise to fame in 2020, hundreds of businesses have sought public offerings through SPACs. Some analysts have interpreted this as evidence of a burgeoning stock market bubble fed by easy credit. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Now let's continue. Munger stated that SPACs were a moral failure and that the easy money that SPAC sponsors were making may lead to terrible issues with civilization. Additionally, Munger expressed his displeasure with the advent of the cryptocurrency known as Bitcoin, stating that it was helpful to kidnappers and extortionists. Because it was a financial commodity that was generated out of thin air, he referred to it as being disgusting and contrary to the interest of civilization. In addition, Buffett defended Berkshire Hathaway's holding of shares in fossil fuel firms, such as the super major oil producer in the United United States, Chevron, and several other significant energy corporations. Chevron is not an evil company in the least, and I have no compunction about owning Chevron, Buffett said, adding that he believed that people that are on the extremes of both sides are little nuts. About the climate crisis, he thought that people that are on the extremes of both sides are a little nuts. Despite a growing consensus among many of the world's largest investors that all companies should make climate disclosures as a first step in combating the climate crisis, Berkshire Hathaway resisted shareholder resolution calling for it to report its climate exposures. These resolutions demanded that the company report its climate exposures. Several investors, including CalPERS, Federated Hermes, and Caisse de Depot at Placement du Quebec, had recommended that Berkshire be required to publish yearly reports regarding its efforts to combat climate change. After Buffett and the other directors voted against it, their plan still received a quarter of the votes cast, suggesting that shareholders are becoming increasingly dissatisfied with Berkshire Hathaway. Another suggestion earned 24% of the votes, which called for enhanced efforts to foster diversity inside the firm. The challenges experienced by airlines and aircraft manufacturers in 2020 contributed to Berkshire Hathaway's poor performance during that year. Its share value managed to scrape out a gain of 2.4% compared to the S&P 500 benchmark return of 18.4%. On the other hand, as a result of the market recovery in the first quarter of 2021, it recorded earnings of $11.7 billion. As the corporation searches for fresh investment opportunities, it has a cash pile of $145.4 billion, which is a 5% increase over the previous quarter. 
Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this one was. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.